How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. Stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I hope they can be saved. Hey, Laura, do you have a minute? Come over if you have time. I can't believe. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Etsli's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Etsli's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, you would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges.
Witching Kick. Ujintan, un ejemplo luz. All full up. Can't carry any more. That's it. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice. And no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. All full up. Can't carry any more. I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. I don't have enough space for that. It can't be an alush. It has to be those children. Is something wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Something is terribly wrong. Every morning, I wake up and everything in my house has been moved. You said something about an alush. Oh, no, you too? Alush aren't real. It's the children. Uh, they enjoy tormenting me. You could block the entry, then they couldn't get in. I tried that. They still found a way in. Uh, maybe I should just move. enough space for that.
all full up. Can't carry any more. The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches, but I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find it. Doesn't make any sense. I don't have enough space for that. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead. I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost. And I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Cowards. All of us. Huh? They said I'm a liar and not to believe anything. Hello? Peace goes at me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. 
what outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Paititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. I don't have enough space for that. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sick is brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animals, aren't they? Llamas? So gentle. Even the wild guanaco in the wilderness, they love to be petted. The gods approve. Why capybara? Mash? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't a life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishigi. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field. Trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. So many of our warriors have been captured. If they are not... I don't have enough space for that. Ah! See the witch! See the witch! 
Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ma, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love, but our love is forbidden, outlawed by the cult of Kulkulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death, tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. Awful up. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Gowards. All of us. Pila witch! Pila witch! Pila witch! Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. One day, she knelt beside one of the pools and a fish surfaced. She became very angry. The ripples in the water ruined her reflection. This queen tried to capture the fish, but she slipped and fell in and disappeared. Disappeared? Many tunnels between the wells were discovered during the search, but she was never found. Some say the queen is still down there and to catch that fish. Thank you. That was quite the story.
must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. All full up. Can't carry any more. <laughs> I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. <laughs> Looks like the cultists were just here. Amazing. This must be where they perform rituals honoring the sun. Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered. I won't last long if I fall in the water. This is mirror two. Need to create a path to mirror three. Need to create a path to mirror three. Need to create a path to mirror three. Think this is the way out. Need to create a path to mirror three. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. Need to create a path to mirror three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered mirror three. Need to create a path to mirror one. Need to create a path to mirror three. create a path to mirror one. <laughs> Need to create a path to mirror one. Need to create a path to mirror one.
Only one mirror left to move. a corridor near Mirror 4. There's a corridor near Mirror 4. need to create a path to mirror one.
Father, father, soon we will be reunited. I can't. Now I serve. Hello, are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy, Taki, lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it and cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. All full up. Can't carry any more. My eyes burn. Let me see clearly. At last. <coughs> Dookie? Is it stormed authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up. Push. See what I have to trade. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh. Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing, the one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. 
And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimak? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. You don't have enough for that. Good luck, Lara.